Hello, I'm Tom and welcome to the Vintage and Classic Metalwork channel. And on this video, I'm going to show you how to fit this RS wide arch onto a standard 911 wing. I'm going to show you step by step how this is done. So the first thing I'm going to do is offer up this uh, new panel. It's made by a company called Danks. Um, and just check the fitment to the original wing. And I've got to say, as a replacement panel, that is a pretty good fit. That should make it a lot easier once it comes to welding this in. Now I've got the panels cleaned up, two things that uh, I've noticed, I'm going to have to knock this edge flat, just like the one on the original panel, and I'm going to have to take a section out of here for the torsion bar, and once I've got those two bits done, I should then be able to get my final position in on where it has to go. Now we've got the wing clamped into place, I can now start skin pinning it, get my final position. Now that's in place, I'm going to put them around the rest of the wing.
Now the panel's completely cleaned up, all filed down, edges are nice and smooth. Uh, we're at the stage where I can skin pin it back on and start tacking it in. What I'm trying to achieve when I'm tacking this panel in is inch spaces if I can get them. This way it just keeps the panel nice and tight when I come to fully weld this in later on. What I'm going to have to do as I move further around the panel is uh, remove the skin pins and then just remove the panel and then start cutting away at the tabs. Let's give this a bit of a flow. And then you can carry on tacking and getting your panel lined up there. What I'm doing after every couple of tacks is getting my hammer and dolly. I'm just gonna press the area flat and carry on tacking. Now I've given the panel a quick dress up, what I'm going to do is stick a tack in between all my original ones just to give it a bit more support when I do to come to fully weld it up. Now the interesting bit, I'm going to start welding this wing in. Once I've done a short run, then dress it up. Pull down that area. I'm going to repeat that process all the way around. I thought I'd just stop a second and explain why I'm actually welding it in like this. So I weld it on really low amps, but when it gets hot, the metal expands and will sort of peak or, or go inwards. And um, what I then do is then dress it out with the block, flatten it out to the shape I want it. And then with my cold damp rag, literally pull it over the top and that will then shrink the metal um, back to where it should be and then it'll stay there then and then if I just keep doing that and linking them all up 
and then dress it up after, I should have a nice smooth panel with very little distortion. Right, so that's the panel welded in. There's 56 welds in total. Um, you've just got to take your time. Just keep repeating them processes and it'll pay off. There's very little distortion and it shouldn't take much to clean up. Um, I wouldn't expect the, the average person to be able to do something like this, but I have been doing this for nearly 20 years now, you know, and taking a panel in like this doesn't faze me whatsoever, even on my really thin car body work. Um, most people would make that, but I'd stay away from that if I was you. Well that's it, that's the wing complete now. Hopefully you picked up a few new tricks and tips along the way. If you ever be in a position like this on whatever car you may be welding up, give it a go. If you've got any questions, drop us a message. We'd be more than happy to answer them for you. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, Vintage and Classic Metalwork. It'd be a great boost. And uh, yeah, click the bell icon and give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, we'll see you again soon.